Hi, I'm Tommy. I'm the shop foreman here at Kansas City Shop. Today I'd like to talk to you about bunk heater operation and what you as a driver can do to ensure that it's functionality at all times. All right. The first type of unit we're going to discuss is the S-Bar unit. Here's the, the control panel is located on your bunk wall. All right, it's a simple on-off function. You'll, get it, you'll see you get the display lit up on the first one. You'll hit it again. Heater enable is what you'll read. You can set your temperature. 82, I mean all the way up to 93. Alright, first thing you'll hear is the fan kick on. And it's located underneath your bunk. And by the way, do not stack anything in front of your heater. Especially if you're trying to use it because it will match it, melt it and could ca possibly catch things on fire. So do not set anything in front of the vent. You will also notice when you turn your bunk heater on that the front HVAC fan will kick on low. The reason this is is so it helps circulate heat throughout the entire vehicle. All right, now you'll hear the, the motor beginning to spool up. You hear a ticking underneath the truck. That's just your fuel pump. There's nothing to be concerned with. All right, and it's going to take, it could take upwards to 90 seconds for your heater to come on. If your heater does not come on, it will automatically restart. You don't have to turn the button on and off and keep trying. It will automatically do a restart. It will do two restarts before the uh, unit will lock itself out. All right, these heaters also have a safety feature that will not allow them to operate if the batteries are getting too low. If you experience a load shed in your tractor, the heaters may not operate due to low voltage. This would be caused to stop at any shop and get your batteries tested. All right, these are the controls for the Wobasto unit. It's a little more complicated, but not really. You have in the center menu button, you would turn it on until you see the heat blinking over here. All you gotta do is hit on and set, and your heater unit will start to, to work. Now sometimes you'll notice the LED screen flashing a little bit. That just means that the heater's kicking on and it's drawing a little more power. All right, on the Volvo, the Wilbasto system, you do not want anything to get in, in this crack right here because that is where your intake vent is and it can cause the heater to overheat. If it gets three overheat warnings, it will completely lock the unit out and you'll have to take it to a shop to get it repaired. All right, one quick tip that will help you keep out of shops more often for a bunk heater is to run your bunk heater at least a minimum of once a month. I mean, if it's hot outside, you can run your AC until it gets nice and cold inside and then turn your heaters on and let it run for at least 30 minutes. This will help to keep the, the parts to where they need to be so you, you're in the shop a lot less. Even on the newer tractors, you'll notice that they're still going to smoke a little bit. That's just the, the fuel igniting. Um, if, you, if you notice smoke more than 15 minutes after the heater is ignited, you need to take it into a shop because there could be an issue there. In closing, when these heaters are operated properly, it will help reduce idle time and keep you warm on a cold night. If you ever have any questions or issues, don't hesitate to call breakdown or see a technician at your, your local night shop. Thank you and drive safe.